Mm -hmm. Wow, welcome back again to our channel. This is Yemi and that's Ola. Today I'm just, this is one of the health, uh, health program. And in this today is, I have this thing in my hand. And in Yoruba, Nigeria, that's the first time I saw this. And you call it Tagiri. Tagiri. In Yoruba is Tagiri. Yeah. And like, I didn't expect to see this in UK, though I live in the UK. So when I saw it, I went to the market and where I buy, where I was buying my Nigerian food, I found this again in the market. Mind you, in Nigeria, Tagiri is for, my dad used to buy it. Mostly my dad used to buy it. I remember that buy it, it's only when we're not feeling well, and we go to the market and buy Tagiri. You can buy a couple of it, a lot of it, and just throw it inside the house. Then I didn't even know the, what's the benefit, what's the use, what's the reason for it. Yeah. I, I don't know, but you always tell us not to touch it. So but getting older, I realized that is to help in cleansing any sicknesses in the house, among the families, yeah. measles, chicken pots, and all that, especially among kids. So I, I couldn't imagine or I couldn't make sense of how Tagiri, it that looks just like a kind of pumpkin seed or Christmas. Um, it is Christmas melon in English. Christmas melon. Thank you. That's English. They say Christmas melon. I think it sounds like even like pumpkin seed. Is they call it Christmas melon? Christmas melon. So I I couldn't make sense of this uh, Christmas melon called Tagiri. How does it really work for you know in keeping away? With, uh, the how okay, keeping keeping everybody healthy, keeping us safe from being sicknesses, yeah. chicken pox, measles, and uh, even typhoid. If you have this in the house in Nigeria, I mean, um, I like the old. It's for the old family. Yeah. Uh, there will be no sickness in the house. That's what we're meant to believe, and that's what that's what's supposed to be. Yeah. And I mean, it's and I believe in it because actually, I think it works. Because it was my dad that used to purchase it, and my dad is always the honest guy and looking out for his family and making sure he goes to any length. He doesn't get any cheap things. Anything he gets, he makes sure is the real thing. So I agree. I think in Nigeria we can get it in the herbalist shop, like on Walagbo. On Walagbo, mm. those on that side, the alternative medicine ben. stuff. Yeah. But in UK, when you want to get this in UK, sorry I'm speaking between Yoruba and English. Mm -hmm. It's just in case my Yoruba family, friends are watching. Mm -hmm. Because if I, where I got this one, I got this in the Nigerian shop in Bricks in Brick State. Bricks in Morocco. And it's not all the time they have it. So I was lucky to find it when I went there. And the lady was even like telling me that if I don't buy it now, by the time I come back, it's been gone. It's all gone, yeah. And it's all gone. Considering how the world is today, mm -hmm. the, all this pandemic and everything that's going on out there, so I'm not surprised that people have to resort to African traditional Alternative, uh, alternative, uh, alternative medicine, medicine yeah. and which to me is really working. And people have to, people don't want to fall sick. Nobody wants to go to the hospital. No. It's, it's not, I'm not saying nurses, the doctors and nurses, they're not doing their job or they're not working hard. They are, but. We still need more support. We still need more more doctors. We still need more nurses. Mm -hmm. We need more carers. Mm -hmm. We still need more of it. So otherwise, people will continue to resort into using African traditional medicine. Yeah. That's what it has been and is now, and that will never is stop. That will continue to be used. Mm -hmm. So I believe in the in whatsoever. I don't know what what they put in Tagiri, but it works wonders yeah. for me. It works wonders. Mm -hmm. And many young athletic kids always. You know they don't reject it they always want it they know what it can do for them so yeah that, yeah i mean that's that's, that's why you're right yeah, yeah I mean. so i mean so please check out this uh, alternative medicine tagay christmas melon christmas melon it's it's different from the melon i mean like you in yoruba bara ni egusi eliunchi bara tagiri lili Okay. Tagiri, bara is only be only be tagiri. That's true. But bara oni kene 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 wa tawala ti wa la ra ide wa isin. Tagiri lele yi o ya la si bara 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 and the melon 
actually looks like um, a watermelon in the design, but yeah. not as big, mm -hmm. right? So, but this one has like, um, what do you call it? It got, it got like the spot, like yeah, the polka yeah, dot. Yeah, yeah. So the Christmas melon, it had like this polka dot design on it. But the, the normal melon that they use, um, the, the, the Africans use for egg soup, that one is like, it, it, it has like strokey drawing. So you have to be able to demarcate between it. But mostly you see that in Nigeria, like let me say, you see that in African shops. I mean, I'm not sure about Caribbean, I've not tried it, but they might have it as well because our ancestors have always been using this and it works. Like I even said, it dispels all those diseases and especially those ones that are and, it, and, it's good, and it's good for kids' room as well. It's good for kids' room. So all you need is just buy, buy it, put one in each room in your house. I mean, that, that is what we believe in as our own vaccination in Africa. And it's really what for it. We're not saying that you shouldn't use your English medicines or whatever, or stop taking your medicines, no. But we're saying that you, oh, right. this does That's sound like right. an add-on right. yeah. to whatsoever um, therapies that you got. So there you have it. So this is um, Ola and this is and Yemi. Yemi. Please subscribe to our channel. Check out subscribe to our channel. Sorry, account. I'm a bit tired. It's very late no, now in UK. Day. It's been a long day, and today's my today is best um, day. Yemi's birthday. Uh, so can you, let's all wish I mean, you watching this video. I'm, I was dozing up during this video. So mm -hmm. if you're watching this video, if you notice I was dozing up, please go down the link. Uh, but my reason for dozing up is because this is three midnight, three a.m. midnight, May twenty-seven, yeah. and. I'm tired and exhausted because I've been having a nice time throughout the whole day. I've been preparing for my birthday. I've been preparing also yeah. videos for you. Um, so I've not really had time to sit out. So sorry if I'm sleeping. Oh, yeah. But I noticed I was I had did those off a couple of times in yeah. the video. But I still have to get, you know do what I've got to do to bring make sure I you, you know you see me. You guys. So let's just sing happy birthday to Yemi. I mean this Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. See you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you around.